Snow began falling in Tidewater shortly before noon yesterday, coating area roads and forcing the cancellation of most flights to and from Norfolk International Airport. When the snow ended during the evening, almost seven inches of white powder had piled up all over Hampton Roads. An early morning rain and sleet storm turned much of the snow to ice, but it didn't last long, turning to slush in this afternoon's 37 degree sunshine. The warming trend in Norfolk, however, didn't help many passengers at Norfolk Airport. While the airport remained open throughout the storm, all flights to New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington, where airports remained closed, were canceled. Flights were also canceled to some sunnier locations. Everything to Atlanta tomorrow is completely full because now this thing is just causing a mass, massive backup. That's the reason the phones are all tied up. Piedmont's full. United is full until 7 o'clock tomorrow to Atlanta. Now, they have one tonight that I may be able to get something on. Some flights were leaving the airport by late this morning, and airport officials say tonight airlines are flying almost anywhere they can land. Since today was a holiday, many of the problems associated with a storm of this caliber were minimized. Area police report just a few minor accidents in snowbound automobiles. Plows in Norfolk hit the streets about 1.30 yesterday afternoon and worked throughout the night. This evening, most downtown streets and major thoroughfares are clear. Snow removal officials say there could be problems tonight, however. Snow and ice are still blocking many storm drains, adding to the problem of water standing in the streets. With temperatures expected in the teens tonight, they are afraid the water will freeze and turn roadways into sheets of ice for tomorrow's morning rush hour. Joan Gartland, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Norfolk.